All right. Once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweshai, Basham, Raka, Kodash, Dabal, and the Apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. Um, this is the word from the GMSRA.com. Just want to bring a quick edification on the men of GMS is the only law abiding citizen through the spirits of the Most High, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweshai. Now, really and truly, when you think about it, Men are great millstone. We are the only law abiding citizen that it has. We are the one who really keep all the laws, statutes, and commandments according to the most high how Shai. So we sure we are the only law abiding citizen in this earth currently. Men are great millstone who is calling upon the name of Shai Shai and trying our best to keep all his laws, statutes, and commandments. As how the Most High the command Israel to do from in the days of Moses to now to keep all his commands and statutes. Now at no time in the Most High of Hashem I say that the laws was done away with and then you don't have to keep them anymore. Like some of you wicked ass pastors teaching these people and I'm out there that the laws are done away with. But the Most High never command that. So Start so with Exodus chapter 19 and verse 5 to 6. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my command, my covenant, Slakia, then he shall be a particular treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And he shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Now when you go back to the children of Israel, the children of Israel will be the men of Israel. Because the laws will entry was given unto the men of Israel. Because the children of Israel goes back to the twelve sons of Israel. Which makes up the twelve tribes of Israel. So yet again, the most high how Bashemesh gives Israel this laws to keep. As an everlasting covenant unto him, and he shall make that particular treasure. Now, at no time the laws done away with, but men of GMS great men, so we know that the laws are not done away with, and we try our best to keep our laws at the standards how the Most High, how Hashem and Shai wanted. So that's how we justify and say that we men of GMS is the only law abiding citizen in this earth right now. Um, this is Deuteronomy chapter. 7 and verse 6. Yeah, so men are great men stone. We take pride in keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And Deuteronomy 7 verse 6 For thou art a holy people unto the Lord, the Harbor, Shem, and Shai, thy God. The Lord, the Harbor, Shem, and Shai, thy God, had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people as upon the face of the earth. So, yeah. We Israelites, and who are the Israeli Negroes, Latinos, and Natives, we are special people unto the Most High Hab Hashem and Shai. We are royal people because He gave the laws unto us, and no other nation had He given the laws unto. So, why go whoring against other nations and following the white man God Esau, who is the so called white man, and serving all these gods of wood and stone? Like Jesus and all these other false gods that they are. When in both sides, our God has given us those laws. And the Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 11 all the way down to 16. For this commandment which I command me, command thee this day, is not hidden from thee. Neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that thou shalt say, Who shall go up? For us to heaven and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it but the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart that thou mightest, mightest do it so we'll enter the Lord says the commandments are inputted in Israel's heart that's how you know when you're doing something wrong, that subconscious mind is telling you are doing something wrong because the laws are within you. See, I have said before you this day, life and good, 
and death and evil. And in that I command thee that this day to love the Lord the Hav Hashem Yahshua thy God and to walk in his way and keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgment that thou mightest live and multiply and the Lord the Hav Hashem Yahshua thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. This is an everlasting covenant, the Lord says is a commandment given unto you Israel, the Negroes, Latinos and Natives, to be an everlasting covenant to keep forever. And no time did that change. The laws are for you, and that's what makes us a holy people unto the most I have by Shemesh. That's what makes us walk upright. And these other nations are good beasts because they do have the laws. They don't have the laws. We have the laws. The laws are given unto us. And we have to keep that law. And in order for you to understand you're doing wrong or right, you must have some way to weigh that the most is about just balance. You must have something to weigh by. So that's what the law come and play. The law is not done away with. So when you see these men are great millstones that they found the apostles all the way down. We understand the laws. We understand the laws is what keeps us because paraphrasing the most I say if you love me, I should keep his commandments. That's the only way showing the most side that you should love him is by keeping the commandments, laws as in the commandments. Ecclesiastics chapter twelve and verse thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. The law says the commandments are given, given unto Israel for us to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments at the Most High. That is our whole duty. So, when these pastors and these other false prophets state in that all, all you need to do is do utterance and to, 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 to call out on the Most High, and like, all you need to do to be saved, you, you're just fooling the people. Because the scripture clearly say is that through your works, you shall be saved and you shall be judged. And those who do thy works until the end, they shall be saved. But within doing the works of the Most High, you must be doing also the laws and the commandments. You must be keeping these things. This is not done away with. Isaiah 24 and verse 5. The earth is also the fire under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws changed the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant yeah you you pastors of them have the most high children breaking this covenant because you are a false prophet you're teaching wrong doctrine you're teaching commandments and man and actually and not actually commandments that the most high have you pastors will be destroyed in that day for leading the most high sheep astray because you, all you all do is teach prosperity and goodwill, but you don't teach the laws and the commandments of the Most High. This Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation, and the fear of the Lord, the Lord shall be in his treasure. So the wisdom and the knowledge goes back to the laws and the commandments of the Most High. That shall be our stability in any time. Because there is a time to come where we will be pilgrim upon the face of the earth. And through these laws as the commandments, we will know right from wrong. And it shall keep us in those days. It shall preserve us. And we put our trust in the Most High Yahweh It will preserve us. So if you are not teaching according to this word, as it started from the apostles all the way down to men who is scattered all through the four corners of the earth, who is GMS who is preaching this word? If you're not preaching this word, you're not a law abiding citizen. Really, and she, you're breaking the laws. We men are GMS, a law abiding citizen. Because we know that the laws are not done away with. And they John 14 and verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. And that's the only way you're going to show the most I how much you make sure that you love him. By keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. You must be able to, you must, it can't, 
works is a way you must show that you're doing something. It's not just about utterance to pastors and them. It's not about utterance and calling upon your so-called force, God Jesus. It's about actions. The actions come out the law says it's a commandment of the Mosai Haba Shem Yishai. That is where it comes in. It's not just about utterance. It can never be about utterance. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 26. For he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. Unto the end. To him will I give power for the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And as a vessel of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Even as I receive to my father. Again, the law says and commandment were given unto you, Israel. It's a wonderful thing to know that that law says and commandment was given unto you. Because you are the most high how Hashemesh I chosen people. The laws are not done away with. The laws are still there because that's the only way that Israel is going to be judged is by the laws. And that's the only way you're going to do right from wrong through the laws. And the most I have, Hashem, Mishael, given the laws unto you as well, to be a particular people unto him. The most I love you, and he say, comes back to you. Come back to him. Who are Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and the Natives, the lower people on this earth? Your enemies, and not your other Israelite brother, your enemies are all the other nations. The Moabites, the Edomites, the Ishmaelites, all of them. They weren't given these laws. Israel, the laws was given on too. And once you fall on these laws as the commandments that the Most High given on to you, you are considered a law abiding citizen also. If you're not following these laws, then you're not a law abiding citizen. So it was just a quick edification to so more or less teach you guys that in order to be a law abiding citizen in the Mosai Yahweh Shemeshai eyes, you have to be following it laws as it is in the commandments. So I hope this video was edifying to you through the spirit of the Mosai Yahweh Shemeshai, to the apostles of Great Millstone, double honors be unto you, to all the archaeons, which in this truth, and the four corners of the world shall one be unto you. This is the war from the GRS channel at camp. The quick edification. Three spirits are the most high. You have a washer So, to all the brackets, you have a washer